Hey, what's going on everybody? Back in another chilly February day. We were just here not too long ago doing the grave of Booker T. Washington. And of course, me being me, I was like, oh, that's right, Carver's here too. But I didn't have long and I didn't really want to do, you know, some half-hearted video about it. So we're back to at least pay our respects in a right way. And we're back in Tuskegee at the Tuskegee Cemetery. And if this is your first time here, I'd like to say welcome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you are into that, like, subscribe, share, you know, do all the stuff, right? That's the ad that I always have to get out of the way. Channel's grown. I can't thank you guys enough. You're awesome for everything that you do. And all the people that watch, all the people that, you know, donate on the members channel or the members, you know, the little join button. You guys are great. This allows me to go do this stuff and bring you along for the ride and I hope you enjoy all that stuff all right so with all that out of the way let's go pay our respects and let's talk a little bit about mr. Carver the peanut guy right he did all kinds of stuff with that here we go so George Washington Carver was born as an enslaved American just like Booker T when we were here George never really knew his original date of birth it's estimated to be somewhere between uh, like the early 1860s, somewhere in there, like pre-Civil War. Carver was accepted to Highland University in Kansas when he was older. Upon arriving, they refused to let him enter because they found out he wasn't white. You know, times were different, right? Not too long ago, we still had this issue. Still kind of do in certain ways. Upon arriving, they refused to let him in, so Carver then traveled by wagon in 1886 to Ness County, Kansas, where he set up a homestead of land where he maintained a small, you know, lot of plants and flowers, and he collected all kinds of stuff, right? Carver manually plowed 17 acres of the claim, planting rice and corn and uh, produce as well as all kinds of fruit trees. Can you imagine? Like, I couldn't imagine manually planting or plowing 17 acres. Like, holy cow. So in 19, or 19, so in 1891, Carver became the first African-American student to attend Iowa State. Carver's bachelor thesis for a degree was plants as modified by man. Carver continued to obtain his master's degree while working gaining national recognition and respect as a botanist and earning his Master's of Science in 1896. A lot of these graves we saw last time, these are all uh, Washington's family, Booker T's family. So in 1919, God, I can't get that out of my head. So in 1896, Booker T, which was in the other video, the first principal at Tuskegee, invited Carver to head the agricultural department. Carver taught here for 47 years, teaching crop rotation, including, including, geez, including, it's cold, including alternative cash crops, like instead of just constantly farming corn, corn and soy, you know, they could rotate stuff. Carver developed over 300 uses for peanuts and hundreds more for soybeans, pecans, and sweet potatoes, or pecans, depending on where you're from. Giving most of everything away, he never patented most of anything. Carver took a bad fall down a flight of stairs and was found unconscious by a maid who took him to the hospital. George Washington Carver passed away on January 5th, 1943 at the age of 79, resulting from complications from the fall. He's right here, Booker T is right over there through the sun glare. On his grave, it is written, he could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor and being helpful to the world. So there you go. George Washington Carver died in Tuskegee, Alabama in January of 43. A life 
a life that stood out, a gospel, self-forgetting service. He could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. The central of his world was the soul where he was born in slavery 79 years ago and where he did his work as a creative scientist. How cool, huh? And then just right up right up the hill is there's a little seat. So yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to say thank you. It is a honor and a pleasure to be able to do this this month as far as the black excellence goes. And these two men that we've came here to see, Booker T a couple of days ago or a week ago or so, and now we get to see Mr. Carver, has been an honor because these two men helped really change the world, right? And it's kind of, it, it, it's amazing how, you know, you don't really understand what, what you can do in life, but then you meet and you see these graves and read the history of these men and everything that they've done. And they did it with, especially with Carver. Carver, you know, did, gave most everything away. They said he died with $60,000 in his pocket or in the bank, and he donated every bit of that to the Carver Institute. So he left this earth as he came with nothing. So thank you guys, and you know what? You never know what you're gonna find on the back roads. We'll see you guys next time.